So I uh, doc screwed up. I ordered the wrong product. <laughs> I was gonna order, I meant to order granular pre-emergent and I ordered pre-emergent with fertilizer. I'll show you that. And then I'll talk about spraying pre-emergence and I'll show you me spraying some pre-emergent. Uh, it was just a rough day yesterday, <laughs> so hold on. Hey guys, uh, in the lawn guides, we talk about our pre-emergent program and the split pre-emergent program that we do when we typically put down a granular pre-emergent first because we don't want to put down a spray on top of this brown grass because you limit, you can limit how much actually gets into it. So get the free lawn guides, by the way. They're up. Cool season lawns, warm seasons, Bermuda, Zoysia, all of it. So I ordered this stuff the other day. I love Anderson's products, you know that, but this is one product from Anderson's I do not like. It looks like rocks, has horrible um, product distribution as far as particles per square inch. I just don't like it. Um, I do not like any combination product. I don't like weed and feeds. I don't like pre-emergent plus fertilizers. I do not like combination products. I th my principal belief is you get a product to treat one problem or take care of something and get the best product you can get and you're done but I ordered it and I can't throw it away so I figured what I do is I'd put a light coat of it out on both barbs and the test lawn over there and then come behind it with a spray and spray because I had a cloudy day and then Within a few hours, I had a light drizzling rain that was gonna move in and it did that perfectly for about, drizzled rain for like eight hours, perfect. When you spray pre-emergent on brown thick grass, you can get a certain percentage, I talked about this in the last video, you can get a certain percentage that actually absorbs into the grass and doesn't get down to the ground. I'm gonna show you that here in a minute. Uh, most of it, I think, went into the ground but let me show you the end result first. Uh, these lawns were these lawns were pretty much green from the spray, from the dye color, and most of that green has gone away. So like you can see a little bit of the green here, and but that has pre-emergent in it, and it's not getting down into the soil, even though we had eight hours of a steady rain. I can see a little bit of a green hue, which tells me that the dry grass absorbed a little bit of this. Well, let's look over here. I'm showing you the end results. Some of this has a little bit of a green hue to it. So, again, it's just reinforcing the fact that one of the first things you want to do if you have this brown grass is use a granular. Then we'll come back in a couple weeks when we do after we do our real scalp, real hard scalp, and maybe put a little bit of uh, liquid on that too as well. So, anyways, here was my messed up day. Yesterday. All right. So let me show you how I screwed up. I guess I clicked the wrong thing, and I was ordering uh, some granular pre-emergent. From my neighbors and barbs and i ordered pre-emergent with fertilizer so i got a 1806 with pre-emergent i'm like dude what am i going to do with this so here's what i'm going to do um since we haven't taken off all the brown i'm going to put out this granular at about half the rate and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to put out the other half with uh, prodiamine at about half the rate so i'm going to do a combination Plus, you can see over on uh, my neighbor's yard, they're getting a lot of weeds. So I'll probably mix in some kind of weed killer too, just to kill off. They got a lot of clover. They got a lot of stuff growing up. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm gonna make Ryan put out the granular and I'm gonna go spray. Loud. So what I'll do is I'll mix up my uh, pre-emergent in a separate container, then I'll put it into here, and then I'll add a little bit of weed killer, and then I'll fill up the tank, I'll put in some green dye, 
and I'm gonna spray barbs and I'm gonna spray uh, my neighbors over here the test patch area and then um, when Ryan comes I think I'm gonna have him put out that stuff just real lightly on the rest of the lawns just to use it up because I've got no use for it on my lawn it won't hurt their lawn all right so what I'm doing is I'm taking that putting it into here I'll mix this up once it's mixed up and dissolved then I'll add it into I'll add it into my tank So a lot of people are going to ask what I'm using. Guys, I, I'm not recommending this. All I'm saying is, is I'm using stuff that I have in my garage on the shelf. That's all I'm doing. So for the liquid, I'm going to use uh, Prodiamine uh, 65 WDG. WDG stands for wet dispersible granule. So you mix this with water and then mix it in the spray. Next, I'm using green dye. And I'm using a fair amount of this just so I can see everywhere that I spray exactly. And then uh, I have some broadleaf and some grassy weeds over there. So I'm going to use some Q4 Plus. It's, again, it's what I had on hand. So I'm ne not necessarily recommending this, but this is what I'm going to use. This is the neighbor's yards. Uh, it should work just fine. Remember, it's warm out right now. <laughs> Today is going to be 75 degrees, but what's crazy is seven days from now, the low is going to be 24 degrees. So it's really weird, this kind of weather. You get these hot patches and cold patches come in. I see Bermuda sprouting up all over my lawn, but it's not time yet. You get that cold temperature come in. And Anyways, let's go spray. Here we go. But I want to show you what this looks like once it's been sprayed. If you're wondering about the sprayer, the toe behind, I did a full video series on that. Matter of fact, I'll, in the description below, I'll link to that. But here, here's what we look like. Heavy green dye, so I know where I'm going. This area back here, in case you're wondering, this is their leach field. Their leach field had to be replaced. Look at all this damage back here. So... We're not putting any pre-emergent back over in here. So I told them, I said, we'll just rake it and reseed it come June, roughly. But you can see that basically the whole lawn is green. So Ryan's gonna come do some pre-emergent real quick out here and then we're gonna roll. I gotta go do okay. something. This is the pre-emergent on 1806. And I just don't care for this at all. Not at all, but I gotta use it, so. We're going to put it out. It's cold enough that the nitrogen's not going to hurt anything. we got to get it out good. <sighs> See, the problem with a product like that is the particles per square inch, dude. Man, I just do not like that product. <laughs> I am not a fan. I've always said this. 100% of the time I am not a fan of combination products weed and feed uh, pre-emergent and fertilizer dude so it's the next day and we had a really good rain really good rain we had probably six to eight hours of just this light drizzling rain it was perfect for pre-emergent remember always put pre-emergent out on dry soil never put it out on wet soil number two water it in water it in water it in Avoid 
sprays if you have a lot of brown grass really stick with the the granular to start with but you can see that almost all the green down here on barbs almost all that green is gone same thing across so it worked it down into the soil so it should be fine we'll just monitor it see what happens uh we've did a pre-scout we've done the jump start program we've got pre-emergent down and i have got i have got a bunch of because it's so warm look at all that bermuda popping up I've got Bermuda popping up everywhere here. And then Ryan's here and we've been trimming all the bushes. So all the ball bushes have been trimmed. Uh, I'm going to go in I'm do a little bit of pruning. Now is a good time to do some pruning on the Japanese maple. Granddaughter's here if you hear screaming. So we've got all these uh, trimmed down. Now I'm a, but we're about to do mulching out here. When we do our mulching, I like to put down a, a grub treatment, and I will show you a product when we do it. Uh, it's an easy weeder type product that prevents weeds in there. We'll put that down. The next, the next thing we're going to do, <laughs> uh, I'm going to walk you guys through. I'm going to walk you guys through your early season. If you have a vegetable garden, I'll walk you through the prep. We'll come out here probably tomorrow if it's not raining. We'll come out here and we will prep up all these garden beds. And I'll show you what you should be doing this time of year and what you shouldn't be doing this time of year. What's real important to understand is that for the most part, we don't have a lot of mycorrhizal fungi right now because it's too cool for that. But on a day like this, I may be able to get some started on here. I will be uh, doing the green, by the way. So when we spent so much time at the beach house finishing up all those projects, the green just went to crap. I really didn't have anyone here take care of it. It's full of weeds. We're going to come back and I'm going to do a seeding of a cool season grass back here on the green. But right now, the green looks like crap. So I told Ryan last year, I said, just forget about it. It's full of weeds. It's full of all kinds of crap. So hit that subscribe button. We've got a bunch more stuff to do. The next video maybe the garden and i may do something on fertilizers some more information so see you then doc